love to do these triangle color mixing exercises with both primary colors, but also sometimes random colors. Uh, and I've done this exercise a lot and it helps me get a really good feel of the different potency of different colors. For example, with a yellow, cyan, and magenta, the yellow is never the dominant color. And so if I want a lime green, I'm gonna need way more yellow than the blue. Now the goal of this exercise is not to create a perfect rainbow. The goal is to give me information so that way when I want to go and create that perfect rainbow, I have a better feel of where to start beyond a one-to-one -one mixture of yellow with either the cyan or the magenta, because that doesn't really give you the true midpoint between those colors. And these exercises are a really helpful qualitative result of a mathematical recipe because I know that there's the exact same amount of dye on each of the examples that I've shown. Now, after a lot of requests, I did go ahead and double the yellow in a project, which is actually what I'm showing here. I'm using twice as much yellow as I might have used in past projects. But not only did doubling the yellow not make enough of an impact to give us something more balanced in our triangle overall, it gives me a result that isn't quite as helpful for me to intuitively know, okay, if I wanna go make a lime green, what proportions maybe do I want to try? And so really it all depends on what your goal is for doing the exercise. I recommend keeping the colors at sort of, at the vertices of the triangle, a one to one to one, like the same amount, because then you can refer back to that and know, okay, I really want to mix this red out of my cyan and magenta. I'm going to use this proportion of colors, or maybe I want it a little bit more pink, but not as bright as the magenta. Okay, I'll add less yellow than I might if I wanted to turn it more red. But either way, this exercise is also just really fun to set up, and I just enjoy it.